you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching three recommendations made by the panel that the federal government should take seriously the nation was thrown into frizzy uh, one year ago when nigeria hit the streets to protest against the public brutality via the cause book cause hashtag on october 2020 media reports allegedly made rounds that some youth were shot by nigerian security operatives since then the saga has caused a lot of frenetic chatters debate backlash and controversies why the government heavily denied ordering the shooting of innocent citizens many nigerians gave credence to the occurrence of the shooting well the recent lagos state panel report has broadened and revealed more about the saga admittedly the panel proved that some nigerians died in what transpired at lekki togis more so the panel made many recommendations which i singled out three that the federal government should need to take seriously first the panel recommended training and retraining of all security officials on rules of engagement and management of protests this is one subdued but later suggestion i think the federal government ought to take seriously this this because a democratic state cannot avoid protests by its citizen panel recommends training and retraining of all security officials including civil defense police and the army on rules of engagement and management of protests the situation of the integrity of the scene of incidents must be preserved and items of physical evidence should not be removed between the time lapse from the incident and scene examination in any other situation the panel recommends that the lekito gate plaza be made a memorial site for ensas protests by renaming to ensas to gates the panel recommends that october 20 of every year the day is made a Toll free day at the Lekki toll gate as long as the toll gate exists. That 20 of, of October of every year be made Ensas Day nationally for the remembrance of our fallen youth. That for the purpose of rest restitution, healing, and reconciliation, the federal government needs to publicly apologize to the youth for abruptly undermining the protest with their state actors the government should do all it can to bridge the gap of the struts with the youths the monument memorial memorialization the lives lost and those injured at the lucky toll gates with the names inscribed on the monument recommends the establishment of standing committee to bridge the gap between the society and the police via information gathering community engagement youth sensitization prompt intervention or issue that requires intelligence-led policing and community policing principles for the review and action of the state commissioner of police action next time 18 months it is recommended that the scrutiny of all disciplinary pros processes of the nigerian army and the police be made transparent and outcomes made public periodically the dark days of military rules is over and more democratic principles and approach are required to win both the peace and public trust the panel recommends that the complaint response unit of the police at the f FHQ must be reinforced to scale up its national responsibility in prompt engagement and treating public complaints against any officers across the country to avoid conflagration. It is recommended that the unit given it protest either fiscally or by words, critique the government police action or inaction which might be deemed bad this does not necessarily stand as a threat 
most often than not, it is a corrective measure. Effective management of these protests is a necessary skill that the Nigerian security agency needs to be tight. Second, the panel also recommend that all deals arrested in the course of the protest be released. To heal the scars left of this saga, the release of some youth still in custody is obviously the best approach the government can think of. Last among the numerous recommendations that I think the federal government should take seriously is the need to restrain the censor the usage of social media for a fact social media was used to spread false and obligious news which intensify the protests hmm. you were saying something meaningful but lastly you spoiled everything well if we are going to be sincere the nigerian government have done what is called inhuman when it comes to the issue of lucky togas so many lives were lost and yet they kept on denying that nothing of such to play in lucky togate honestly this panel has done a great job by putting all these uh, all by putting all these options to them they should choose from it whatever it is that they want to do let the recommendation be the first list being thrown to them well um it's now left for our government to do the needful Lagos state governor tunubu and apc government should be the ones to hold responsible for the atrocities committed against innocent nigerians on that fateful day hmm. well where is lai mohammed my people Nigerian government has nothing to do. Their target is how to reopen the lucky toll gates. I congratulate all the members of this panel and particularly the chairman for at least revealing the truth about the death of some youths. The Lagos state government had earlier denied. Hmm, just imagine, had denied this fact. Now the whole world knows that people were massacred at lucky toll gates as against the statement of legal state government just imagine with deep respect the answers panel your struggle is not in vain someone said so but sincerely what these people really did to nigerian youth is really really wrong just imagine them denying for the fact that no life was lost at lucky togis and the nigerian army were not ordered to shoot anybody at lucky togis those who were present those who managed to escape on that day knew exactly what had happened in lucky togis on that day those that were, ma were managed to escape knew what had happened and those parents who lost their children on that very fateful day knows that lives were lost only those Nigerian government who had nothing to lose on that very day are the ones who are saying no lives were lost. Just imagine what they are saying that no life were lost and so many people, so many blood shed had took place on that day. So many souls were lost on that day and they kept on denying. Thank God the panel has managed to fish out all these things out and had made them to know that they have done something that was wrong it's not left for them to take up this case and make it what nigerian youth wants to hear because if they keep on provoking the youth the way they are doing only god knows what is going to happen in the nearest future between the youth and the nigerian government well you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening